Okay. Uh, how can I help you? Uh, well, it seems that uh, I can't... I don't know if it's just not focusing or uh, I thought these things came with autofocus. Uh, it's just the, the image is really blurry and uh, I, I think my unit's defective. Did, did you just say autofocus? But yeah, I mean, isn't that what the special forces guys use? Did you also say that your username is night vision expert? Well, I've, I've had some, you know, I've, I've got a PVS-7. Hi, this is Cornelius Mannheim III. I had uh, placed an order with you. You should remember me. Uh, I feel like I would remember a name like that, but no, I don't recall your order. You have a, a binocular, I assume? Yes. Okay, so there's two eyepieces and two objectives. Both of those are going to be adjusted um, to your eye and then to whatever you're trying to look at through night vision. So, uh, I think I think you may be confused, but um, I'm not confused because this is, should have been set up before it ever had left your facility. It should have been properly focused before it ever left. It should have been left. Custom night vision. Hi, uh, is this uh, dang old uh, night night scopes night? custom night scopes yeah uh i done bought a goddamn uh night vision optic from you uh and man it, this thing looked like a damn old kaleidoscope I, I can't see shit out of this thing it's got a i man what the hell do you, i feel like i done got scammed because this thing i can't see a damn thing god Oh my god, if I get another fucking call from you. Usa. <laughs> mm. Hello? Uh, is this custom night vision? That depends. How can I help uh, you? Well, I uh, had just received uh, my night vision device in the mail. Dude, if you tell me, if you're about to ask me why you can't focus your night vision, I swear to God, I'm going to look up your order number and I'm going to come to your house. What's going on, everybody? Uh, today's video should be pretty quick. This is kind of a how-to video. You would not believe how many people reach out to us and um, say, I can't get my night vision in focus. Everything looks blurry. I know, it's crazy. But we're going to go over how, how to properly focus your night vision to your eyes and to whatever you want to look at. So um, I'm going to pull this off here. This is a 1531. So there are two different lens systems that you are going to focus. You have a diopter, uh, the, the eyepiece here, and depending on what kind of optics you have, um, any of the mil spec stuff is going to have like a little dial here with a dot and some numbers. This should uh, correspond to your prescription. It doesn't always, but it, it's a good place to start. Um, I typically recommend people start at zero. Okay, so the majority of people buying night vision, I, I would assume, are, are fairly young and Again, the majority of you don't require corrective lenses. So start at zero, see what that looks like. And then come up here to your objective. And what you're gonna do is you're going to turn this in and out. Uh, pick something, you know, in the room just to get started. You know, I'm assuming the first time you turn your night vision on, you're gonna be in a dark room in your house. Uh, focus on it, laser focus, and turn this in and out until you resolve that image uh, as crisply as you can. Okay, it may still be blurry, that's fine. Then come back here to the eyepiece again and adjust, adjust this until that image starts to clean up. It still may be, again, a little bit out of focus, but you want to, um, what it's gonna look like to your eye is you're at least focused as well as you can on the screen that is emitting that slightly blurred image. So you're gonna, you're gonna fine tune the eyepiece and then you're gonna go back to the objective one more time 
and give it another little wiggle, fine tune it, and you should be able to get that image in really crisp focus. Once the eyepiece is set to your uh, prescription, you don't really have to mess with it again. I mean, every time you pull your night vision out of a case, you might have to adjust a little bit because they, they move fairly freely when they're um, kind of bumping up against stuff. Um, but the objective focus, this is something you're constantly going to be messing with when you're using night vision, depending on what you're trying to see. So if I'm doing some administrative task right here, you know, hands distance away, I'm going to have this focused pretty far out to get uh, things that are up close uh, in clear, clear focus. Now, when you're out in the field and you wanna see things far away, uh, or as we like to say, in, in, at infinity, this objective is gonna be turned almost all the way in, if not all the way in. So typically, devices are set to infinity um, from the factory or from the manufacturer. The way I set infinity, I usually give like a quarter to a half turn past infinity um, just because, and people are gonna disagree with me on this, based on somebody's uh, eyesight and how they set the diopter, that infinity can change slightly. And what happens is when I do a hard infinity set with the diopter set at zero, I will get calls from people that, you know, uh, have a prescription like negative four or something like that. They can't get their device all the way to infinity. So rather than set the infinity stop at a hard true infinity at a diopter setting of zero, I give them like a quarter to a half turn past that to um, have a little margin for error. Uh, essentially, this, the secondary purpose of an infinity stop is to keep the back of this objective from impacting the intensifier tube should you drop the device straight down like this. As long as the uh, infinity stop, however it looks, changes, it depends on different devices. Um, this one actually travels with the objective on like a GPMVG or an, uh, a PVS31. On a katana, it's just a ring here that's captured in place with a little set screw. As long as it's turned out far enough to not let the objective uh, actually make contact with the tube, it's fine. This is something you can set at home too on a lot of these um, goggles sold commercially. You can just back these little screws out right here uh, and adjust it in or out. But if you don't feel comfortable with that, obviously you're having issues, you can send it back to us, we'll fix it for you. Not a big deal. Um, so that's the basics on how to adjust your night vision. Um, I'm not sure if we've done it yet, but we will roll in some B-roll uh, with first person perspective through the camera on what this looks like. All right, just hit record. This image, I'm gonna go ahead and, it's gonna be hard to do it from this side because of the battery, but. I'm gonna go ahead and put this way out of focus to start. So, and I'll zoom in on the camera a little bit. Okay, so we've got a FUBAR image right now. Like I can't see anything through the monitor. Um, first, I'm gonna go over here to this objective and I'm going to turn it until what I'm trying to see starts to come into some kind of focus. So I can now I can see the eye chart, but it's still blurry. The next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna mess with the diopter. And I see that it's cleaning up a little bit. So take this with a grain of salt. This camera's doing a lot of stuff that your eyes can't do to focus this image. So I just went back to the objective and I brought it back into focus. And I mean, it's pretty clean. I will fine tune the diopter once again. It looks a little out of focus, bring it back. That looks good. I put the camera in autofocus so it, it wouldn't um, do too much work on its own, but it's still, now I'm messing with a focus ring on the camera to emulate your uh, prescription. So I'm gonna put it out of focus. I'm gonna put the lens out of focus and I'm gonna mess with the diopter now the image is back in focus. So this, this is essentially simulating your shitty vision if you wear corrective lenses. So I will put the diopter all the way out. And let's see if I can adjust that focus. Yeah, so I can adjust the lens focus. 
to get the image clear, even though the diopter is at a completely different setting. So at the end of the day, once you have this eyepiece or the diopter set to your uh, vision, then the objective focus is just going to be dictating your depth of field or in layman's terms, uh, what is in focus de determined by the distance from the surface of this objective. I hope that was helpful. That's about all I've got on that. So let me kill Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Um, please subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate that. Get down in the comments and say something crazy. Um, thanks for watching. Share this video with your friends. Uh, have a great day. Bye. I don't know. Whatever.